dream last night You were standing In a brilliant light One minute here But the next you were gone I thought you could stay but I was so wrong The end is here The game is over No more pretending No more No more No more And now, the WWE Credit One Visa Card presents War Games. The end is here! The game is over! Two rings will be enclosed by one giant steel cage on the highway to hell. The performance center is the battleground. Two factions will go to war. There will be bloodshed. Injuries are almost a guarantee. And careers will even be cut short. But only one faction will survive war. It's time to go to war. It's time. For War Games! We have a sold out crowd on hand tonight here at the Performance Center and our main event promises to be an explosive one as two factions are on the collision course on the highway to hell as Shawn Michaels Super Group, the Deadline, take on the All Elite Express in War Games and the winner of this match will get to choose the stipulation for the WWE title match at SummerSlam. Chosen helped even up the odds two weeks ago on Monday Night Raw and has elected to join the All Elite Express in the fight against the deadline. And before we get to our main event, we have two preliminary matches and these two preliminary matches were taped after NXT went off the air this past Tuesday night on Sci-Fi, as tonight, Seth freaking Rollins in a dream match will take on the ECW original, the Hall of Famer, Mr. Pay-Per-View, Rob Van Dam. This is a dream match everybody has wanted to see, and they are going to get it here tonight at War Games. However, we are going to kick things off with a Pro Wrestling Japan Joshi Showcase as Cecilia Ayakashi takes on Kristen Murphy in a Pro Wrestling Japan Women's World Championship Eliminator Bout. And if Cecilia Ayakashi can defeat Kristen Murphy, then she will get a guaranteed title shot down the road in Pro Wrestling Japan. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the Las Vegas, Nevada. C. C. Akane. Well, Mike Rum may want to work on his pronunciations as Cecilia Ayakashi a native of Tokyo, Japan, has relocated to Las Vegas, Nevada with the rest of her family. Ayakashi is a third 
generation wrestler of the Ayakashi legacy. She is a former IWGP Women's Champion, a successful Joshi wrestler in the Japanese circuit, and tonight she will look to win this eliminator belt to become the number one contender for the Pro Wrestling Japan Women's World Championship. And here comes the eight-time Women's World Champion. Although she doesn't have the belt with her tonight, Kristen Murphy is your current Pro Wrestling Japan Women's World Champion. She won the tournament to become the inaugural champion. She defeated Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, in the finals of the tournament at Pro Wrestling Japan Pride to become the first ever Pro Wrestling Japan Women's Champion. She is an eight-time Women's World Champion, and tonight is somewhat going to be a homecoming for Kristen Murphy of sorts, because this is the first time in a long time Kristen Murphy has been in a WWE ring. And here we go. This Eliminator matchup is underway. Of course, this is the first time Cecilia Ayakashi is stepping into a WWE ring. And now she sends Krista Murphy in the rope. Snapmare takedown. And she steps over Krista Murphy. Nice drop kick by Cecilia Ayakashi. And now, wait a minute. Oh! Krista Murphy was just too smart for that. Wait a minute. Hurricane Rana by the Japanese sensation. Of course, Krista Murphy is bigger in size than Cecilia. However, what Cecilia lacks in size, she well then makes up for it in heart. There's the butterfly suplex. Wait a minute, here's the cover. One, two, and Kristen kicks out. Ayakashi was in disbelief right there. Call her no bow tie up. Irish whip in the corner, and Kristen easily counters the drop kick. There's the mafia kick. Man, what velocity on that kick right there. And now Kristen moves out of the way of that springboard kick. There's another Mafia kick for good measure. Man, this was the one thing Ayakashi had to avoid. She had to use her speed and quickness. And unfortunately, she got caught. And now Kristen Murphy is taking control of this women's matchup. And Kristen Murphy is bigger than Ayakashi, which means Kristen is going to use her power and strength to wear down the high flyer. And of course, Kristen Murphy is not just a powerful wrestler. She is also a great technician. And you know, sooner or later, Kristen Murphy is going to be looking to wear down the lower back of Ayakashi. And she's going to be looking to apply her signature submission maneuver, the Scorpion Cross Lock, as Kristen Murphy was relentless with those headbutts. And now she's taking her time to post her ground. Here's the cover one. And Ayakashi kicks out easily. And now, wait a minute, Ayakashi with a jawbreaker as she fights out of it. And now Ayakashi is looking to take control of this matchup. Irish whip in the ropes. Nice drop kick from Ayakashi. And Kristen's right back up. I cannot believe Kristen just pulled a Samoa Joe right there. And now, wait a minute. Oh man, that had to hurt. The choke slam into the backbreaker. Wait a minute. Ayakashi with the Hurricane Rana. I think Kristen was looking to go for that Scorpion cross lock, but to no avail. Irish whip in the corner now. Kristen Murphy's in trouble. And now an elbow right to the face. And now Ayakashi. There's the ignition system. Kristen Murphy could be in trouble right here. And now Ayakashi. She's going to fly. The dynamite stiletto. But the referee unfortunately got in the way. I think Ayakashi misjudged her distance. And now Kristen Murphy 
is looking to take advantage of the miscue from the Japanese sensation. And now, oh my goodness, she's got Ayakashi up. There's the heartbreaker. And that is going to be the prelude to the most painful submission maneuver in professional wrestling. She's got her turned over. And now she's got the Scorpion Crosslock locked in. Ayakashi has nowhere to go and she has no choice but to tap out. Kristen Murphy wins this Joshi Showcase matchup. Man, Ayakashi gave it one hell of a fight, but Kristen Murphy managed to take advantage of that unintentional miscue and once Ayakashi got caught in that Scorpion crosslock, Ayakashi had no choice but to tap out or risk getting her back broken. Kristen Murphy is your winner of this Joshi Showcase matchup here tonight at War Games. And this crowd is on their feet, paying respects to the eight-time women's world champion, Kristen Murphy, as this was the first time in a long time she has stepped into a WWE ring as Kristen Murphy gets the win tonight here at War Games. Well, coming up next, it's the dream match everyone's been waiting for as Seth Freaking Rollins takes on the ECW original, Mr. Pay-Per-View, Rob Van Dam, here at War Games. Burn it down! Are you ready? for some Saturday Night Rollins. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Devin Ford Island. Love him or hate him, you cannot deny the talents of Seth freaking Rollins. When everybody else has left to go to other major promotions, Seth Rollins has stayed and has remained loyal to WWE since day one of his arrival. And tonight, he finally gets the dream match he's always wanted as tonight he and Rob Van Dam will be looking to tear the house down. And his opponent from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds. And this crowd here at the Performance Center in Winter Park, Florida is showing their appreciation and support of the ECW original and the longest reigning ECW World Television Champion in ECW history, Rob Van Dam. Do I have goosebumps as an announcer? I wish those of you at home were here at the Performance Center tonight to witness 
professional wrestling history. And here we go. This dream match is underway. And there's a DDT by the architect. Here's the cover. One, two, and Rob Van Dam kicks out. It's going to take a lot to put Mr. Pay-Per-View away. And a sling blade by the former WWE Champion. And now Seth Rollins is taking control of this matchup early on. And Rob Van Dam kicks up with a drop kick. And now Rob Van Dam, Irish whip in the ropes. And a power slam. What power from the whole effing show. And now springboard and a nice martial arts kick from the springboard. And now Rob Van Dam, collar and elbow tie up as he sends Seth Rollins to the outside. And now Rob Van Dam, he's looking to fly here, but I think he misjudged his speed. Collar and elbow tie up now. Rob Van Dam sends Seth Rollins over the ropes and he sends him back to the outside. RVD is measuring up Rollins. He's going to fly. Air Van Dam. And this crowd is on their feet for the athletic ability of Mr. Pay-Per-View. As now both men are now fighting on the outside as the referee is exercising his 10 count right here. I would hate to see this dream match end on a count out. I think we need to settle this in the ring like true gentlemen. And nice counter from RVD. And now, nice monkey flip. RVD is on a roll here. Rob Van Dam is in control of this matchup here early on. Standing moonsault. And here's the cover one. And Seth Rollins kicks out. Of course, Rob Van Dam is the only man to hold both the ECW and WWE championships simultaneously. And now... There's the rolling splash that Seth Rollins countered as he put the knees up. There's the V trigger right there. And now Seth Rollins, he's going back to the old dirty tactics that he's so known for. And a kick to the midsection, perfectly legal, right above the belt. Seth Rollins, one of the three original members of a group known as the shield he rode the coattails of roman reigns and john moxley before he finally turned on them in 2014 and ever since then the monday night messiah the architect seth freaking rollins has been on a reign of terror here in WWE. He has had some tremendous matchups and managed to go 60 minutes on Monday Night Raw in a gauntlet match to determine the entry place in his Elimination Chamber matchup. Standing moonsault by Seth Rollins and here's the cover. One, two, and RVD kicks out. And kick to the midsection. He's got RVD now. There's the pedigree. Shades of his mentor, Triple H. He's looking to win this matchup right here. One, two, and RVD kicks out of the pedigree. Of course, who can forget the heist of the century when Seth Rollins cashed in his money in the bank briefcase in the main event of Wrestlemania to win his first WWE Championship 2 and RVD kicks out again. Seth Rollins has been a part of so many memorable moments here in WWE and he has basically been our go-to guy whenever business needs to be done. He makes sure that it's done right and now Seth Rollins is awaiting RVD to get up on his feet. He's going to fly. And he totally missed his target right there. And now RVD's coming too. And he sends Seth Rollins into the barricade. And now he's setting him on top. RVD. He's a high risk taker. What does he have in mind here? Was it? 
Oh, man! Spinning leg drop from the apron to the barricade. What athletic de- ability shown by Mr. Pay-Per-View. And now clothesline by Mr. Monday Night. Clothesline done. There's a mafia kick for good measure. And now RVD rolling thunder. This could be all. One, two, and Seth Rollins kicks out. Seth Rollins is in trouble here as RVD goes up top. Seth Rollins is shaking the cobwebs out. There's a nice martial arts kick off the top rope. And again, the cover. And Seth Rollins manages to kick out. Man, what a match. And RVD, he can be egotistical from time to time. Collar and elbow tie up. Irish whip in the corner. Now the forearm to the face. Wait a minute, springboard, there's the stomp. Man, that was a sick landing. One, two, and RVD kicks out from the stomp. Seth Rollins cannot believe it. And now Seth is going up top. He's looking to fly now as RVD is trying to shake the cobwebs out. And once again, our, uh, Seth Rollins misses his target. And a martial arts kick from RVD. And now RVD is going up top. Five star frog splash. One, two, and Seth Rollins kicks out. RVD cannot believe it. And this crowd at the Performance Center is on their feet. What an amazing matchup they are witnessing here tonight at War Games. And now, Air Van Dam with a springboard crossbody. Man, what a matchup we are seeing here tonight at War Games. This is everything we've wanted it to be, and then some. And RVD mismanages his distance on that slingshot crossbody. Spinning heel kick by the Hall of Famer. And now RVD is in control of this dream matchup here. Collar and elbow tie up in the kick in midsection. Knife edge drop. Seth Rollins. One heart and determination by the former WWE champion. And now Seth Rollins has got RVD. There's the ripcord. I think RVD might be out right there. And RVD struggling to get up here. RVD is trapped in the corner here and Seth Rollins trying to do some damage to that left arm. Right hand block. There's a right hand by RVD. Irish whip in the corner now. And now RVD is waiting. There's the rolling splash. A modified version of the rolling thunder. Man, Seth Rollins is in trouble here. RVD is looking to fly. Moon Salt off the top. A cover. One, two, and Seth Rollins kicks out. Man, this has been a seesaw back and forth battle between these two here tonight. This is the dream match fans have wanted, and they are getting their money's worth tonight. Standing Moon Salt off the apron. Both men are showing the heart and determination that it takes to be a warrior inside that squared circle. They want to be the man that comes out on top here tonight. And now Seth Rollins has got him in the cross face. RVD with nowhere to go. As you see, RVD was cut open a while back. So is Seth Rollins. Both men are bleeding. That's how physical this matchup has been here tonight. We knew this matchup probably would not be for the faint of heart. And now a right hand from the architect, Seth Rollins. He's got RVD trapped once again, and he hits him with another ripcord. RVD is trying to catch a breather here, and Seth Rollins could be moments away from putting Mr. PPV away. And now, springboard, and again the stop, and another sick landing. One, 
two and RVD at 2.99 manages to kick out and now Seth Rollins he's going for the front splash and RVD moved out of the way drop kick from Mr. Pay-Per-View and now RVD is up top five star frog splash one two RVD gets the win here tonight at War Games wow what a dream match Woo, man what a finish See, take a look at the replay right here man I am out of breath from calling that matchup these two men gave it their all here tonight, and RVD manages to come out on top. And this crowd is on their feet. They just witnessed one hell of a dream match here tonight at War Games as Rob Van Dam is your winner here tonight. Last night was so amazing. Hell yeah, it was. What's up, Bruce? You're going for round number two? You know it. <sighs> Brought to you by Blue Shoes. Do it and do it! And dance, huh? Wanna pick up the temple? Yeah! Step into a slip gym! <laughs> Tear to the spice! That beefy juicy taste! Jazz, Mr. Savage. How about the funky chicken? Oh, is that a waltz? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Need a little excitement? Step into a slim gym! If only I were a little stronger, I could get that extra yard. I could hit for extra power. I could even be Triple H of the WWF. Don't bet on it, kid. Triple H, what are you doing here? Just brushing up on a little history. But that's not important. What's important is results. And Dynamic Muscle Builder from Weider Sports Nutrition can help you get there. Dynamic Muscle Builder is packed with essential high-quality proteins, carbs, and amino acids that help to nourish your muscles. Yes, get results. Well, next week, it's the two-night extravaganza. It's the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam, live from Nashville. And in addition to the WWE Championship match between Patrick Murphy and Slade, Gunther will put the Intercontinental Championship on the line in a triple threat match against the Celtic warrior Sheamus and the monster among men, Ron Strowman. That should be one hell of a banger, ladies and gentlemen. And also, at SummerSlam next week, it will be the internet sensation, Logan Paul, against the Rated R Superstar Edge. Logan Paul has called out the Rated R Superstar for weeks. Challenge Edge to a match at SummerSlam. Even said some personal things about his family. And Edge has guaranteed that there will be hell to pay for Logan Paul at SummerSlam next week. Well, coming up next, it's time to go to war. It's time for war games. It's Shawn Michaels Supergroup, the deadline against the All Elite Express. And the winning team gets to choose the stipulation for the upcoming WWE Championship match at SummerSlam. Let's take a look at the journey that brought these two factions on a collision course on the highway to hell. Standing 
what I call a psychological ploy, folks. Even if your opponent is in the gorilla position with you, make him wait. That is why this is called the human game of chess. And after weeks of horseshit Patrick Murphy has been through, I guarantee you he's ready to tear Slade apart like a piece of hamburger tonight. I guarantee you that much. Anticipation awaits. As you see Patrick Murphy wearing the shirt of Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, who is currently out with a back injury. Get well soon, by the way. And from Columbus, Ohio, weighing in at 220 pounds, the WWE Champion Sully. How fitting that Slade comes out 
to no chance in hell because his leader happens to be a personal friend of the current owner of World Wrestling Entertainment. This guy has been a resident kiss ass to Randy Orton from day one and he is doing the same shit with Shawn Michaels and the fact that he took the low road to become WWE Championship pisses me off as a commentator and I hope to God as much as I want to be unbiased I hope to God Patrick Murphy tears him to shreds and shreds him up like a piece of cheese in that steel cage as this match is underway unofficially I might add as we are in the war games portion of this match as soon as all eight men are in the double ring steel cage then the match beyond begins collar and elbow tie up and Patrick Murphy said Slade into the steel cage that steel cage is unforgiving it's almost like having a tag team partner in that ring with nowhere to go for your opponent I am being told in just about a minute here we are about to have a coin toss to determine who will have the main advantage throughout war games as Patrick Murphy sends Slade into the second ring that's the beauty of having two rings and what oh my god the double springboard Patrick Murphy just took advantage of the two rings and turned it into a hurricane Rana. What athleticism by the former four-time world champion. Okay, I have been told that the All Elite Express have just won the coin toss and they're about to send its second man in here in less than 10 seconds as Slade and the deadline are about to be on a two on one disadvantage and I believe here comes the tribal chief Roman Reigns all oh, this does not sound good for Slade and Roman Reigns has now pulled a table from underneath the ring that is the beauty of war games anything goes no disqualification this matchup about to get ugly, folks. This is about to be a car crash on I-95. A barroom brawl. And now Roman Reigns has got Slade. And he puts Slade through the table. And this crowd here at the Performance Center is on their feet. This will not be for the faint of heart, ladies and gentlemen. If you got children in the room... You better put them to bed, folks, because this ain't going to be pretty. And what the hell is Patrick Murphy doing? He's going on top of the cage. If he exits that cage, it'll be a forfeit. Wait a minute. He's on top. Oh, God. He completely overshot his target and accidentally attacked Roman Reigns instead as he hit the Florida Keys. Oh my goodness, what a miscue. And now the deadline are about to send its second man in in five seconds. There's the murky spike. And the deadline are sending in the big guns as here comes the Nigerian giant, Omos. And I can't tell from my vantage point, but I believe Slade has been busted open and Patrick Murphy has met the big man at the entrance of the steel cage. The All Elite Express have dominated war games so far and now the deadline are going to be looking to even up the odds. Remember, the winning team gets to choose the stipulation for the WWE Championship match at SummerSlam. The high stakes involved in this matchup here tonight, here at War Games, a double axe handle by the WWE Champion, and now the deadline are now taking control of War Games. Nothing but chaos in the double cage, and there's a vertical taskplex from Slade, and Omos is just having his way with Patrick Murphy, and now the deadline are going to double-team the Tribal Chief. 
Oh my god, the gut buster! And I believe now we are 10 seconds away from the All Elite Express sending a third man into battle. Who will it be? And it's the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! He is now making his way to the double cage and now he's bringing a chair into war. This is nothing but pure, glorified, glorious wrestling violence here tonight. And now Cody Rhodes is bringing in yet a number table into the mix. And Slade moves out of the way of that shoulder tackle. And now the All Elite Express have the three on two advantage. And Patrick Murphy to kick the midsection now. He's got Slade and a half and a half. And I believe it connected on part of the table. We told you this wouldn't be pretty, folks. There would be some injuries, some casualties of war here tonight at War Games. There would be bloodshed. That is why this match is the most dangerous match in all of professional wrestling. And now Roman Reigns, he's got Slade with the Samoan drop. I am doing my best to call this action here, folks. And now Roman Reigns is climbing on top of the cage as the deadline are about to send Inspired Man in to even up the odds. Oh my god! The Tribal Chief just flew off the top of the cage with a splash. Holy shit! In this crowd, in the performance center, is chanting. This is awesome! Damn it, I agree with them! As the deadline now, send and Braun Breaker to even up the odds. I am surprised Braun Breaker was even cleared to be in the most dangerous match here tonight as he and Patrick Murphy had a no disqualification war two weeks ago on Raw and blood was shed all over the place and in the end Braun Breaker suffered a minor concussion after the match was over but Braun Breaker is here tonight he sees Steiner lines Cody Rhodes into the corner and now Roman Reigns turns his attention to the former two-time NXT champion and now Patrick Murphy and Almas are battling over that table there who's going to be the first to go through it and now Collar and Elbow tie up with an Irish whip in the corner Patrick Murphy with a knee to the face and the Bulldog is chosen will be coming into this match in less than five seconds as he is the final representative of the All Elite Express. And now we are just a couple minutes away from the deadline, sending in MVP to even up the odds. Once MVP enters the cage, War Games, the match beyond, officially begins. We've seen both a lot of men go for submissions here. However, not a single pinfall or submission can be made here as the match hasn't officially begun yet. And now Chosen is in the cage with the four on three advantage. And what the hell is Patrick Murphy doing here? He's going on top of the cage again. He missed his target once. Who is he going for here? Oh my God! this for the love of mankind! He just dove on the top of the cage and splashed over! And this crowd is loving every minute of it here at the Performance Center. All hell has broken loose here at War Games. All hell is fair in love and war as the deadline are a few seconds away from sending MVP into war games, into the double ring, double cage, and in less than five seconds, as soon as MVP enters the cage, the match 
beyond begins as the odds are about to be evened up here. And a collar and elbow tie up now. And Patrick Murphy tried to send Slade into the cage, but to no avail. And Patrick Murphy got the get right there. He's got Slade. Murphy spike. And the match beyond begins. He's going for the cover. And Bob Breaker broke up the pin. Oh, man. What chaos. And Oman just tossed Jones in like a baby into the second ring and Patrick Murphy's trying to make Slade tap out with the Canadian Maple Leaf but it's going to be hard to get a submission in a matchup like this folks and now Patrick Murphy's got Slade up again Murphy spike the cover one two three the All Elite Express have won war games they have survived the war and now the all elite express get to choose the stipulation for the wwe championship match at SummerSlam. we are out of time folks thank you for joining us here at war games we will see you at nashville for SummerSlam.